everybody in this video we will discuss about address decoding the question is given in the description section below in this question we are given a 2 RAM block and a ROM block each of 4 KV and the starting address is 4000 H so we will note those given items We'll note all those items and address decoding. We have four major steps to solve this question. First, we will calculate the number of address pin required, and this is given by n. Suppose n1 for RAM1, n2 for RAM2, and n3 for M. M3 as the number depends on the size of a device a size of a block that is given so all all each of these are 4 KB so we have we have same numbers of address pin that is equals to log of size in byte divided by log 2 that is log of 4096 divided by log of 2 and we get 12 so we need we have two will address line that is that's starting from a naught to a eleven address line right so second step is memory mapping so we make a table with memory address and the a fifteen a fourteen a thirteen a5, A4, A3, A2, A1, A0. So the first memory is RAM1 and start address that is given in our question 4400H in. We don't know in address, we need to compute that. And second mem device is memory is RAM2. We don't know, ev we even don't know the start address of this and we don't know in address. We'll compute that both of this. Similarly for ROM, we don't know both these. Now we need to compute the N address. N address is... Now N address... N address location is given by base address plus 2 into 10 to the power into the size that is 4 kV minus 1. This is in decimal. This this is in decimal, right? So base address is 4000 H which is given for us plus 2 into 10 to the power 4 is 20. 1024 minus so multiply 4 minus 1 now we convert the 4094 the opt-in value into hex value that is using calculator and that is FFF so these two value gives for FFFH so in address in address of the, uh, this RAM is for FFFH and the start address of the start address of second memory is given by when you add one to the uh, when you add one to the in address of first memory that is that is for FFF plus one that we get 5000 similarly we calculate the in address for RAM and we get 5 FFF similarly the third address third, start address of third memory is plus 1 that we get 6000 and the end address is 6 FFF H by using calculator we convert these uh, 4000 into required binary value 4000 required binary value the fifth, 14th position is 1 and the rest is 0 we list all those 0 Similarly for 4 FFFF Similarly compute for remaining also one, 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 one. Now we have already completed step 2 to design a memory mapping now what we can fr find from this table is is that all the bits are same till a11 
but it is changing in A2. A2 will is changing in all this. A13 is changing. And A2 will and A13s are changing. So the, we'll use this as a selective. We we'll use this as a line and other as a ena to enable the decoder. So here we need to write something that the bit A2 valve and A13 are used for RAM and ROM selection as these these bit are only differing so we use a, a decoder with this bit as a so to select RAM or ROM for input and output purpose as for input of decoder A14 and A15 are used as used to enable the decoder device and the remaining bit A0 to A11 are given to ID of RAM and ROM you make sure you write this content this paragraph before you proceed please check your table it must be similar to this table till now we first calculated the address pin and we we made a map memory mapping table and in third step we decided a decoder pin that is a2l and a13 now in fourth step we draw address decoding circuit now address decoding circuit first we make a block that we need that is decoder we have two select lines so 2 is to 4 decoder 2 is to 4 decoder is what we need for the first and what we need we have we are provided with ram we are provided with a ram ram has input and output buffer and we have input buffer input buffer ram and we have another ram also this is ram 1 and we have another ram similarly we make ram input buffer and we have ram 2 this is ram 2 now we draw ram room which has only output buffer uh, you just can write a ram with a, in a block we don't need to mention these things right so output buffer and we have room this is room so the starting address we if it is better to mention a starting address that is 400h to 4f f f h and it's better to write a higher address at the top and the lower address at the end so this is 5f f f and 400 sorry 500h we, we just obtained right this is 6f f f and 6000 it's better to write that now this is a basic block that we are provided with we are provided with a decoder we are provided with ram ram second ram and we have provided with rom now what we need to draw is we need this circuit that provides us memory read io slash m bar not it Take this same content for another WR. This is memory, right? We got two signals over here. We got a two signal. Now, what we do with this thing? As we know that A13 and A2 will are the selected for decoder, input for a decoder, and enable enable one this must be all this must be always active low and this active low is provided by using third sorry using 15 and 14 and how it is done is that 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 must be provided this is zero so that must be one so we need to make we have a zero as a15 so we not that so we get one over here and the output over here and 14 is already 14 is already one so we just pass a14 over here a14 over here 
and this E2 that enable 2 is grounded and enable 3 is provided with 5 volts supply and we, here we have 4 means 4 output 1 2 3 4 we just need 3 output or the other one is grounded or we just can say we, we have insulated it by this symbol this is 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 we just grounded that now what we do now what we do we invert this and pass as a CS signal bar signal to RAM 1 and those address pin that we determine that we need two will we need two will address line we just provide over here a eleven to dot 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 a naught these are address pin eleven to dot 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 a naught eleven to dot 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 a naught and another similarly another as uh, we invert that and provide the same signal over here and from the third one over here so we completed it now as we know ram ram has read and write ram is read and write now we take this write signal to this ram write means we need to write in input to the input of this first buffer and similarly on the second also second also and the memory read signal similarly to output buffer here we have we drag it from for second also and for room also as for output buffer the output is dragged Now before we sum up, here we need to s specify these lines D0 to D7, D0 to D7, for RAM2 also sorry D7 and D0 to D7, so we don't sorry we don't have this, we just have output in this section D0 to D7. So this is required address decoding figure. So first we need to enable this must be uh, this first enable must be active low so for active low this must this must be one and this must be one so that we get a zero over here and these are selected on the basis the clock that the bit that changes that is 12 and 13 if you are provided with three three is to eight decoder then you need to select any other that is 11 also we'll discuss about this that case in our next video and the first to the first RAM, that might be anything, right? Second to second RAM, third to third RAM, and memory read. So, hope you understood this. So, uh, stay tuned with for the next video on address decoding. We'll discuss about few more other problems. In examination, you try to maintain a cleanliness of your circuit so that you can score a good marks. I'll sum up the last question, another question in few minutes in other two minutes so we are provided with eight, three to eight decoder so we need three address line though at bit 12 and 13 are only changing so we also include a 11 for three is to one as we need three input and we sell we have th eight outputs we we just ground all those unnecessary output unnecessary output the first is linked with cs in the the rom section we are also provided with the rom ram and rom chip ROM, RAM, ROM chip. The main block diagram, first you need to, you know, we are provided with 3 to 8 decoder. ROM, RAM, ROM. And this signal as a CS in this ROM, RAM, and the memory read and write. IOR for, IOR for, read for ROM and write for RAM. So that is how we draw this. So first, first step is to calculate the address pin where we write, where we need in this section. We there are 10 sorry 12 address bit and in memory mapping table we just made we just make in a similar manner I discuss the addressing and we convert into a binary using calculator and fill out the table all the bits accordingly this last address is given by the formula base address plus 2 co power 10 into 2 the size of the size that we are provided with minus 1 and this is in decimal you convert into hexadecimal that is 7ff and you get 
and you sum up to get the in address the starting address of a second memory is in address of first memory plus one in address of second is calculated in the similar manner and you just make fill up this table and find out the decoder pin decoder pin and as these two bit are these two bit are unchanging for so we need three for three inputs so we we select 11 also and this should the enable one should be active always active low so as a15 is already one we have one this is zero not gives one one and one we get zero so this is all always active low and enable two is grounded and enable three is provided with five volt supply we'll discuss about another question about address decoding in our next video thank you for watching goodbye till then